Hi students, welcome to a quick video on the motivation to study macroeconomics as we start this portion of the course. So today, which is the 1st of February, I went ahead and just pulled up the Wall Street Journal and I wanted to see what types of articles were on the main economics page. And so the first one was that the economy notched its 100th straight month of increased employment. And so we're going to be talking about the unemployment and non-farm payrolls in this class. Also, last week, jobless claims jumped, but that's probably due to the partial federal government shutdown, which we will also talk about in this class. In January, we saw the U.S. factory activity picked up. And recently, uh, there are two empty spots on the Board of Governors for the Federal Reserve. And Herman Cain and Marvin Goodfriend are both being considered. So we're going to talk about all this stuff in this class. Before we do that, we do need to talk about what exactly an economic indicator is, and it's simply just a statistic about an economy. We're going to focus on the U.S. economy in this class, and there are two resources that I use that I'll provide links in uh, below the video for these if you're interested in looking into it more. The first one is there's a company called Econo Day, and they put out an economic calendar. This has a ton of economic indicators. It goes through and it shows what economists are thinking is going to happen, uh, and it gives definitions and, and why these economic indicators are important. There's also a big book called The Secrets of Economic Indicators. It's currently in its third edition, and I have that right by my desk anytime I'm looking into economic indicators. It goes through thousands of economic indicators from the very straightforward GDP to something that not a lot of people think of, which would be Las Vegas revenues, because that would definitely tell us something about the economy if revenues in Las Vegas are going up. Like I said, below the video, there will be some links to both of these things. Last but not least, I want to talk about a couple of important economic indicators that we're going to see during this class and when we will see them. Currently, the level of GDP or gross domestic product, which we're going to focus on in Lesson 4, is about $20.66 trillion. Uh, the most recent data that's available is the third quarter of 2018. We also have the current official unemployment rate, which most recently just came out today. We're going to talk about that in Lesson 5. Currently, it's at 4%. Uh, the data that came out today has a one-month lag, so the January data came out today, the first Friday of February. The current inflation rate, which I pulled from the CPI, which we will talk about in Lesson 6, is 1.9%. And the current federal funds rate, which is an interest rate for overnight loans between banks, which we'll talk about in Lesson 10, is currently in the range of 2.25% and 2.5%. The place where I gathered all of these is at FRED, which we'll talk about a little bit later on in class. FRED is the Federal Reserve Economic Database, and it's held uh, and controlled by the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. Uh, I will make sure I post a video here in a minute about how to use FRED to kind of make some economic arguments and to view these data.